Hello my groovy girls and groovy guys. Welcome back to the vintage series. Oh my god, that was so lame. Um, in today's look, I have created a 1969 Janis Joplin Woodstock festival inspired kind of look. I have definitely rocked this orange jumpsuit and this scarf before. Back a couple of years ago when I was at Lake Como, I went for like a 60s holiday chic kind of look at the same time. Um, I chose to do Janis Joplin because she is an absolute fucking rock star and I love her music so much. Um, I've always known who she was, but I've never really been into her music until I think it was a couple of years ago when I went to a museum in Paris and I just fell in love with her music for some reason in that moment. I think she's an absolute icon from the late 1960s. And I know that this isn't your traditional like wearable 60s look like what I've done with all of my other vintage series um, looks that I've created, but I just wanted to have some fun. Like I'm in the middle of a lockdown in London right now and I just wanted to just do something colorful and just break the rules and just do something fun. That's so why I came up with this really cute look and I think it's super, super cute. And I think in the summertime, if we are allowed to go to any festivals, I'm definitely going to recreate this faux freckle flower look. I think it's really, really cool. Cool. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get into the video. Okay, first of all, let's get this hair off my face temporarily. I've got some big old bell sleeves here on this top, so I'm just going to roll my sleeves up and get them out of the way. Okay, first things first. We need primer. Which primer should I use? Ooh. I want something quite natural looking. Okay, we're going for a Revlon base today. So, for primer, I'm going to use my new Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer, and I'm gonna mix in some of the Revlon Colorstay Endless Glow Liquid Highlighter. I'm gonna mix these two together to give me a nice, matte, glowy base. <laughs> this is like a trick I've been doing for years now and I just feel like especially for um, taking pictures or like being in front of a camera with lights or when you're taking pictures um, just for Instagram or something um, I feel like having a super glowy base just bounces back light and helps to just like blow your skin and I really really liked that effect. Next up, I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. I tried this recently and I'm actually, I'm actually like really, really loving it. It actually looks so nice. It's a really nice shade for me at the moment and it gives really nice coverage. And it's just so easy to use with this little sponge on top, you know? Taking a tiny bit of concealer. Chanel bronzer. For brows, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Extensions Crayon Thingy Majiggy. And then just to be extra, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Pe uh, eyebrow pencil and just define that lower line of the brow because I really like that look on brows. Now that our base is looking really nice, I really thought long and hard about what kind of look I wanna do for Janis Joplin because she was someone that didn't really wear a lot of makeup. She didn't have any dramatic looks. I think the extent of her makeup look was probably just some smudged black eyeliner. But I've decided though, you know, if I don't wear any makeup, then that's kind of just a hair tutorial. So I thought we could just get creative and just do something fun. So, as if you can't tell already, this is going to be like, kind of like an orange vibes kind of look. So I'm gonna take my new lipstick from e.l.f. This is the Seriously Satin in the shade Persimmon. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. Just for some color on the lips because they're feeling dry and bare. And then I'm gonna put some 
e.l.f. plumping gloss on top. And I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Let's do eyes. I was thinking, why don't we use this bad boy? I've got so many different colors in this palette that I'm just dying to use. I really thought it would be fun to use some of these orange shades. Maybe I should swatch some. Let's try these four here. So this is called Just Peachy. This is called Tangerine Dream. This is called Koi. And this is called Heat Wave. Very, very cool shades and names. So let's give it a swatchy swatch. So out of the four shades, I really like Tangerine Dream and Heat Wave. Taking my fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Tangerine Dream first. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. That is the most beautiful orange eyeshadow I've seen in so long. You know, I've had eyeshadows in the past and none of them show up like this. There's no fallout and it's so nice and pigmented. Fun fact for you, orange is my favorite color. Okay, that looks gorge. On a smaller brush, I'm gonna take the shade Heat Wave and see if we can deepen up this outer corner. There's not a massive difference in the colors. I'd say that this Heat Wave one just has a little bit more red to it. It's gonna build that color up on that outer third. So keeping in with the 60s eye shape, I'm going to have a very round eye. I'm not going to do a massive winged liner. And then for the inner corner, what can we do here? I've got a shade here, a bright yellow shade called Hello Sunshine. I thought Hello Sunshine was very fitting considering the amazing weather this weekend. You can definitely smell spring in the air. The flowers in the garden are starting to blossom and the weather is warmer and the days are brighter and yeah, just feeling a lot more positive. <laughs> Maybe that's why I felt inspired to do this look. Okay, so I think that looks really cool. I think those shadows are looking really good. I'm just gonna smudge it a little bit under the lower lash line. Okay, now both eyes have the shadow down. I'm actually just gonna take that first eyeshadow color, the Tangerine Dream, on a blush brush and just apply a teensy tiny bit of that as a blush. Um, just to give me a little bit of color on the cheeks over that bronzer that I did just to make it a nice matching cohesive look a little bit across the nose looking good I'm gonna add liner and lashes so BRB okay so liner and lashes are on oh my gosh I haven't worn lashes for a while and oh I forgot how good they look um, I didn't like the lip I was wearing, so I'm gonna go in with Beige in the City by L'Oreal and just add this instead, just for a more natural looking lip color. Okay, now onto the fun part. <laughs> okay, so for this part of the makeup look, um, what I want to do is create a faux freckle look across the nose and across the cheeks and the center part of the face. And then I thought we could do some flowers on top. I've never done this before, so I just wanted to give it a try. Um, I've seen online most people use brow products to create a faux freckle look. So I've got this product here. This is the Makeup Revolution Brow Gel um, in medium brown. Um, I've got a couple of brow pencils here from Rimmel and Elle. I've got a brown eyeliner from uh, Maybelline and then I've also got a liquid eyeliner from L'Oreal. So I tested the products on the back of my hand and I found with the liquid eyeliner it's too like it's too bleedy. It bleeds into all the creases of my skin and the brown eyeliner is too dark but these two brow products are the right kind of brown shade. So I think I'll go in with those and then we might go over the top with some of this um, brow, brow gel stuff. I'm just gonna do one randomly. Hopefully it won't look too fake. Let's just go in and just see where the freckles take us. I 
I feel like that gave a really, really subtle effect. That's using the Elf Brow Pencil. Let's go in with Rimmel and see if we can do some in between. Like I said, I'm just doing these super randomly. I just thought across the center of the face was probably going to be, you know, where freckles most commonly are. With this other product, I'm just going to dot this on my finger like that, and then <laughs> just push it onto my face and just be random with it. Add a tiny bit more. So I feel like that's a really effective method of adding some faux freckles, but I do feel like they are a little bit too dramatic. Mm, I'm scared to go over with a sponge because I don't want to smudge it everywhere, but I just want to soften it a bit. Okay, that's cute. I'm done with y'all. Now we need to do the flowers. Now I'm going to do the flowers. So what I want to do is I kind of want to do like seven-ish flowers on each side of my face. So I don't really know how to do this. I've never done this before. Okay, I'm going to take this fine liner brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to put some of this brow gel. I'm going to put some of this brow gel on the back of my hand just in like a blob. And that is going to be the center <laughs> of the flower. So I'm just going to dip into that with the tip of this brush so I can get a finer point. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking if we just kind of roll with the darker points we already have. So I think if we go here. Okay, so I feel like I didn't want them to be, I didn't want them to be like super perfect on either side. So I'm just gonna run with that and then clean off this brush, brush, brush. Okay, now I'm hoping, <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting really nervous about this part. I'm not sure why. So I've got my Beauty Bay palette here and I think what I might use is I might paint the flower petals with a white concealer that I have here from Revolution and then I might try and make some of them yellow using this eyeshadow here called Hello Sunshine from the Beauty Bay, pa from the Beauty Bay palette. So I've got this white concealer here. I'm just gonna put a nice blob of that on the back of my hand. And then taking that brush now, which is now clean, and just dipping in and let's see if we can paint some flower petals. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Please work. <laughs> Okay, I think the first one looks cute. <sighs> Let's keep going. <sighs> I don't think I just breathed for like a minute. So I know that this isn't like super wearable, but, and I know that like most of my other looks have been like, this isn't a Halloween costume. And I think that, you know what? I was just like, whatever. Like there are no rules, just do it. You know, just have some fun. I just thought this would be really cool for like a summertime festival look. Okay, this is getting easier and I'm feeling more confident as I go. Now I have a really cute set of flower freckles across my skin. And should I go in with yellow? Mm, I'm just gonna do it. Do you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna be bold. Let's do this. Yellow. Okay, so I've just finished doing the yellow on top of the flowers and I think it looks super cute. I think this is just such a fun look. I feel like you could definitely rock this at like a festival or like some kind of a summer event. 
Um, I think next time what I might do is actually mix in the yellow eyeshadow with the white concealer to create kind of like a yellow face paint. <laughs> I mean, most people would probably use face paint for something like this, but I didn't want to go out and buy something. I just wanted to use what I already have at home. So this is the makeup done. Let's move on to getting our hair styled. I'm just going to start by sectioning my hair, so halfway back and clipping it out of the way. And then I've got this bad boy right here. This looks intimidating, but basically this is kind of like a giant crimper. And I rocked this hairstyle when I was in Costa Rica almost a year ago. It's really, really effective. There's loads of different versions of this and they are just such an effective hairstyling tool. I personally love them because I have very fine hair and I love being able to create like volume and this tool is awesome for it. I've used this on quite a few of my friends hair and it always just looks so so cool. So I'm going to run this through my hair. So when we look at pictures of Janis Joplin, like I said earlier when I was doing my makeup, she's not really someone that like had a full glam look. She was, she was probably more of like the smudged black eyeliner kind of look. Um, her makeup was very, very minimal, but I didn't just want to do like a no makeup look and then just do hair. So I thought it would be fun to, you know, celebrate, you know, the late 1960s, 1969, kind of like a Woodstock festival kind of a thing, kind of a vibe, kind of a look. And, you know, I, I wouldn't say that this is like a hippie look because the idea of hippies is, you know, this whole flower power generation thing. It's not, it's not real. That's not what hippies were. If you've seen um, Tarantino's latest film, he depicts accurately what hippies really were like in the late 60s. But I just thought, you know, anyway, we're getting off topic here, but <laughs> I thought for the late 1960s, it's 1969, we're going to Woodstock Festival, and it was definitely a thing for women to have flowers drawn on their face, you know, big or small. So I just thought this was like a really fun summertime kind of a vibe, kind of look. So Janis Joplin, obviously, her hair, if we look at pictures of her hair, her hair was massive. <laughs> uh, she had a lot more hair than I do. Um, so when I finish crimping my own hair, I'm actually gonna pop in some hair extensions that are a nice medium length. And uh, that's just gonna give me like some extra volume and some extra length so we can pull off the look. And then I was thinking, I could wear a really cool scarf that I have, a paisley print scarf, because when we look at, you know, what types of like textiles and prints were trending in the late 1960s and the early 1970s, paisley print was like super, super popular. I think it was made popular by the Beatles because they went traveling to India. So I think, you know, that whole Eastern influence became a thing um, during the late 1960s. Hair is done. I've finished giving everything lots of life. We are looking more Janice by the minute. To top things off, um, I have this absolutely gorgeous, very beautiful orange paisley scarf. This is massive. Um, for those of you who know me, and for those of you who've been following me on Instagram for a while, you would have seen me rocking this orange jumpsuit with this headscarf um, a couple of years ago in Lake Como. And I thought it was very 60s vacation chic, I think was my <laughs> caption at the time. So when I last wore this, I wore it as like a full headscarf, but I thought Janis Joplin liked to do headbands. So I don't know if we want to rock it kind of like that and then go underneath the hair. I think that will look best. So here we have it, the Janis Joplin inspired 1969 Woodstock Festival <laughs> inspired look. I love how this turned out so much. This is just such a great way to finish off the 1960s decade of the vintage series. 
Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you feel inspired and please do let me know if you try and recreate anything similar. I would love to see a recreation of this look. Now that the 60s is all finished, we're gonna move on to the 70s next. Um, I think with the 1970s, I'm gonna do things a little bit more fashion focused than makeup focused. So stay tuned for that video coming soon. That's all from me. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.